Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to do some basic editing using Explain Everything. Not only will this result in a higher quality video, but you can also use this opportunity to make your video easy for your students to follow. And I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so here we'll use Explain Everything to do some very basic editing of our screencast and just improve the quality a little bit. And you can do several things with Explain Everything to improve the quality of your video. You can use it to find and fix any mistakes that you may have made. You can use it to remove any stray marks that you may have accidentally made with your stylus while you're recording. You can use it to shorten any pauses that are too long. And that's kind of important because you don't want the attention of your students to wander. And you can also use it to lengthen pauses to give them enough time to understand what they're hearing and seeing on the screen. You can also use it to insert additional content that you missed putting in the first time around. For example, if you wanted to emphasize something, you can use the pointer and you can also use the highlighter for the same reason. You can use the pen to add any labels, and you can even insert your voice at any point in the recording. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use Explain Everything to edit the Draw and Talk video that I made back in a previous video where I was showing you how to record a basic screencast. And I chose this video to edit because, well, I made more mistakes in it. And I also inserted some mistakes on purpose just for the purposes of demonstration. So let's start at about here at the 22 second mark and see what I can find to improve this video. Now, when you're editing your video, I recommend that you immediately hit the mute button just to make sure that your microphone doesn't pick up any additional audio and layer that on top of the audio that's already there. Okay, now actually before I start, I'm going to check the beginning and end of this screencast just to make sure that there's not too much blank space in the beginning, and it looks like there isn't. Just a couple of seconds, about a second and a half, before I actually start talking, so I think that's fine. But if there's more than three or four seconds at the beginning of just dead space, I recommend trimming that off. And the same thing at the end of the screencast. So let's go all the way to the end using the fast forward button here. And it looks like I only have about three seconds or so at the end, so I think that's fine. Okay, let's go back to the beginning, and I'm gonna start at about the 20 second mark. And this whole structure is known as the carpal. And once again, that is the female part of the flower. Now, the top of the carpal, this bit here, is called the stigma. And the stigma has a sticky substance on it that helps the pollen stick to it during pollination. This. Okay, so. I think I might want to insert a bit of a longer pause there just to give the students a chance to think about the fact that the stigma plays an important role in pollination. So to do that, I'm going to actually unmute the screencast because I want to record the same amount of background noise that is currently in the video. If I mute it, then if I record, if I insert a recording at this point, the level of background noise will drop, and that might be noticeable in the final recording. Now, if your background noise is already very low, it might not be noticeable, so you can play around with that and see if this step is necessary or not. But I'm going to just insert some blank space here using the insert feature, or rather the insert recording mode. So I'm just gonna insert just one more second at this point, just to give the students more time to think about what I just said. Okay, and so let's see what it looks like now. That helps the pollen stick to it during pollination. 
this net. Okay, so that was a little too long. I really only wanted an additional second in there. So I'm going to highlight this, hit start selection, drag over here a little bit, and delete and compact. And now I have just about one extra second there. So I'm gonna play that again and see how it sounds. That helps the pollen stick to it during pollination. This neck looking structure here. Okay, now I think that looks good. Let's see what's next. This neck looking structure here is called this. Okay, now it's not really, it might not be clear to them um, what neck structure I'm talking about. So I'm going to use the pointer to point to the style before I talk about it. And to do that, I want to basically overlay my pointing to the style with the current track of visuals. So to do that, I'm going to select the mix recording mode and I'm going to go back a little bit and I am going to make sure that I have the mute feature selected here because I do not want to record any additional audio while I overlay this pointer over my recording. Okay, so I'm gonna basically anytime that you wanna add any visuals only to your recording, make sure that that mute button is selected. So once I have this mix mode selected, I'm going to hit record and then at the point where I want the pointer to appear, I'm just going to point to that area on the page and that pointing will now appear in the recording. So check it out. That helps the pollen stick to it during pollination. This neck looking structure here is called the style. Okay, so let's see how that looks. This neck looking structure here is called the style. Okay, that looks good. Let's keep going. And within this bulgy bit down here, we have the ovary. And the ovary houses very important parts of the female flower. These are ovules. Okay, so I think I wanna shorten the pause over here between when I say ovules and when I start labeling the ovules. So I'm just going to hold my stylus down here and select start selection and highlight this area here, making sure not to highlight any of where I'm speaking and hit delete and compact. And that'll speed my video up a little bit. Let's see how it looks now. These are ovules. Okay, that's a bit better. Let's keep going. And each ovule houses the female gametophyte or embryo sac which in turn houses the egg, which is the female gamete. So those are the various parts of the stigma, and once again, that's the female part of the flower. Okay, so I made a mistake there. These are the various parts of the carpal, not parts of the stigma. The stigma is part of the carpal, not the other way around. So this is a mistake that I have to fix, and I'm going to fix this entire sentence. If you just try to fix one word, it can seem kind of awkward. It's better to just replace an entire sentence. So let me just refresh my memory about what I'm supposed to say here. So those are the various parts of the stigma, and once again, that's the female part of the flower. Okay, so I'm supposed to say, those are the various parts of the carpal, and once again, that's the female part of the flower. So I'm going to delete this entire sentence delete and compact, and then go here, and now I'm going to hit the insert recording mode, and I'm going to unmute my microphone, because at this point I'm going to insert a recording of my voice saying the thing that I should have said in the first recording. So here we go. 
So those are the parts of the carpel, which again is the female part of the flower. All right, let's see how that sounds. So those are the parts of the carpel, which again is the female part of the flower. Okay, sounds pretty good. Now I have some pretty lengthy pauses around that, so I'm going to shorten those to about two or three seconds. And about a two second pause is kind of my default between sentences. So I'm going to start selection and delete that part there. And I'm also going to shorten this pause over here to two or three seconds or so. Okay. Let's see how that sounds now. The egg, which is the female gamete. So those are the parts of the carpel, which again is the female part of the flower. Okay, I think that sounds okay. Let's keep going. Okay, so next we have... Now I don't really need this okay so, so I'm just going to delete that. Next, we have the parts that are just around the carpel if you're looking downward into a flower. And those are the male parts of the flower. The male part of the flower has two parts, a kind of stalky bit and a round bit at the top. Now, the stalky bit is called a filament. And the round bit at the top is called the anther. The filament simply holds the anther up, and the anther is where pollen is produced. Okay, so I see a little stray mark right there. It's outside the anther, that little yellow dot right there. That should not be there. So I want to get rid of that. Now, there's a couple of ways you could do this. One is that you could zoom in all the way to where the stray mark is, and I can tell where the stray mark is on the timeline because I can kind of zoom around the timeline and I can tell where it's not appearing, and then when I go forward, and now it's appearing. There it is, it just appeared. So this little mark right here on my visuals track appears to correspond to that little stray mark there. So I have to basically delete that. And like I said, there's a couple of ways you could do this. One is you can zoom in all the way in here and you can hold this down and hit delete. Okay, and that's the way I recommend. Alternatively, you could scroll to exactly where it first appears right about there and use the eraser to erase that little spot right there. But I don't recommend that because you could erase other parts of your presentation by mistake, and sometimes erasing something isn't undoable with the undo tool. So I recommend removing that little spot this way and just taking your stylus and holding it down over that spot and hit delete. And then the spot will be gone. Okay, and let's zoom out once again and keep going. Now the Now I heard some kind of swallowing noise there. Let's take a look at that. Okay, now I can delete that. Now and explain everything. There's no way to that I know of anyway to mute part of your presentation. There is in Camtasia if you want to check that out. Um, that's more of an advanced video editing program, and I talk about that in the advanced screencast video series, but if you want to get rid of that swallowing sound, you pretty much just have to delete that part of the recording. Now, since this is just a basic screencast, and I don't think those sounds really interfere that much with the students learning, I'm not going to worry too much about them. But if you want to, you can delete those kinds of sounds within the recording. Okay, let's keep going. Now the filament and the anther together make up the male reproductive structure, which is collectively known as
as the stamen. And you know that it's the male reproductive structure because it has the word men in it. Now, most okay, so that was kind of a long pause there, so I'm just going to delete a second or two out of there just to keep the student's attention. Now, most flowers have several stamen surrounding one or more. Okay, so I think that's a mistake there. Let me see that again. Stamen. Now, most flowers have several stamen. Okay, so the plural of stamen is not stamen. The plural of stamen is stamens. So I should have said stamens here. So I'm going to, and I don't have a lot of space to work with here, so I'm just going to insert me saying the word stamens. Or rather, it's probably better, like I said before, to insert the entire sentence and re-record the entire sentence. However, I have a lot of visuals going on in this sentence. So if I'm going to do that, that means I have to redraw everything that I drew here. And I think I'm going to be a bit lazy here and see if I can get away with just restating the word stamens at this point in the recording. So I'm going to listen to it and try to match the tone of my voice. Now most flowers have several stamen. Okay, so I'm going to say stamens and see if that can kind of flow within the sentence. So I'm going to unmute my microphone and at this point in the recording I'm just going to insert a recording of me saying stamens. And once again I'm going to listen to it again so I can try to mimic the same tone. Stamen. Okay. Stamens. All right. Let's see how that sounds. Now most flowers have several stamens. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. I'm going to shorten this pause a little bit here just to make it flow a little better and see how that sounds. Now most flowers have sep stamens. Oh, okay. This happens sometimes. Um, explain everything is a bit slow in reading the recording, so it didn't finish the word several, but as you can see from the audio signal here, the word does finish before this cutoff. So if you hear this kind of thing, don't worry about it because it'll be fine in the final recording once you export this recording. So let's hear it again. Now most flowers have several stamens. Okay, so I think that's going to sound fine in the final recording. And I'm going to remove this pause right after it just to make it flow a little better. Okay. Now most flowers have sep stamens stamen surrounding. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that stamen there, and then we should be good to go. All right, let's see how it sounds now. Now, most flowers have several stamens surrounding one or more carpels. Okay, that sounds fine. Now notice that um, when I'm using my stylus, it's pretty loud. You can hear me kind of banging on the tablet. Listen. Carpels. Those bangs are when I'm actually drawing on the iPad. And like I said before, you can minimize that by putting just a piece of fabric or taping a piece of fabric to the tip of your Apple Pencil in this case, and the Apple Pencil will still work, but it just won't make as much noise on the tablet. I didn't do it here because I wanted you all to hear what it sounds like when you don't do that. And again, it's not such a big deal. I don't think it's going to interfere with the learning of your students, but if it bothers you, you can fix it if you want to. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, and I will tell you, make sure that um, you have the mute button just off by default, okay, all the time unless you want to use it. Unless you want to actually record your voice and add something to the recording, have the mute button on, or rather have the sound off.
And also, do not confuse the record button with the play button. I've ruined recordings that way. So you want to use the play button unless you want to actually add something, usually audio, to your recording. So be careful of that. Outside of the stamen, we have the petals. And you all know what petals are. They're the pretty part of the flower. And they come in various numbers, depending on what kind of plant or flower you're talking about. And the function of the petals is usually to attract pollinators, namely insects, especially bees, so that they can transfer the pollen in the anther to the stigma. Okay, so I think I want to show this in a different way. I think I want to use an arrow to show that the pollen from the anther is going to go to the stigma. So I'd rather do that instead of using these, um, you know, pointer features here. So I'm going to delete where I use the pointer. So now the pointer will no longer appear in that part of the video. I'm going to delete this one too. And I'm going to just listen to this again and probably show this another way. So that they can transfer the pollen in the anther to the stigma. Okay, so where do I say transfer? The So that they can transfer. Okay, so here when I say transfer Maybe I'll have an arrow go from the anther to the stigma and a bunch of pollen shows up on the stigma. Now this kind of thing I do a lot more for advanced screencasts, but you can do it here as well if you want to. So let's see how that looks. Pollinators, namely insects, especially bees, so that they can transfer the pollen in the anther. Now I think I do want a point here, so I kind of changed my mind a little bit. I think I do want the pointer in there after all, now that I've added my additional visual feature here. So I'm going to just select my pointer and make sure that the mix recording mode is selected because I don't want to record over anything. And also make sure that my audio is muted because I'm not adding audio here, I'm just adding the visuals of my pointer to my recording. So I'm just going to go back a bit and hit record and just insert the pointer where I want it. Pollinators, namely insects, especially bees, so that they can transfer the pollen in the anther to... Oops, that's not really where I wanted that. Let me try that again. So that they can transfer the pollen in the anther to the stigma. Now let's see how that looks. So that they can transfer the pollen in the anther to the stigma. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So those are some of the ways that you can use Explain Everything to edit and improve your screencast. Okay, so now that I've finished editing my screencast, I want to insert my introductory talking head video. So you can see that I'm now at the beginning of this screencast. And to insert the talking head video at the beginning of the screencast, I'm going to create a new page and just put that page right before the page with my screencast on it so that when I export this presentation, the talking head video will appear right before the screencast. And if you want to do a talking head outro, then you could do the same thing and put that page right after your screencast. So my talking head introduction is going to go on this page, my screencast is on this page, and my talking head outro is going to be on this page. Okay, so let's go to the page where I'm going to put my talking head introduction. Now I've already transferred my talking head video file to this iPad, 
So I'm going to import that. Here it is. Okay, and I wanna make this take up the whole screen, but before I do that, I'm going to go to the inspector tool and lock rotation, just so I don't accidentally rotate it when I'm enlarging it. Then I'll click the hand tool and enlarge it. So it takes up the whole screen. You don't have to do this, but I'd like to. Now to actually record this video playing, you have to hit the record button and while explain everything is recording what's on the screen, you have to make the video play using the play icon that appears over here. So let's do that. However, first I'm going to just insert some empty time just so I have a timeline visible. Okay. All right, so there's no audio recording here because I have everything muted and that's important. When you're recording this video, make sure that you mute explain everything. Otherwise, you'll have two audio recordings on top of one another. Now, if you're using a video within your screencast page, make sure that you have the insert recording mode selected just to make sure that you don't record over anything that's already there. Now, since this is on its own page, it doesn't really matter which recording mode I use, so I'll just leave it on insert. Okay, so let's record this video. I'm just going to hit the record button and then hit play, making sure my mute button is selected. Hey everyone. In the last video, we examined the structure of the pollen grain and the structure of the ovule. Now in this video, we'll take a look at how these structures participate in double fertilization. And in this video, we'll have two questions. Okay, so now you see that my talking head video is in the recording see it move as we go forward. Okay, and we can also trim the edges a little bit at this point. So I don't want so much time in the video after I stop talking. So maybe I'll just trim this bit here. And maybe I want to trim a little bit at the beginning as well. Since I'm looking off camera here, I want the video to start with me looking on camera. So just at about that point. Okay, let's see how it looks. Have to unmute it to hear it. Hey everyone. In the last video, we examined the structure of the pollen grain and the structure of the ovule. Now in this video, We'll take a look at how these structures participate in double fertilization. And in this video, we'll have two questions. Okay, and then that will lead right into the screencast when we export this. So that's how you can add a talking head video to your screencast. Okay. So at this point, start to edit your own video using Explain Everything. And don't go for perfection here. Just make as many improvements as you can in a reasonable amount of time. Also, when you're editing, try to view the video as your students would and focus most on making the video as easy for them to follow as possible. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how to post your video to YouTube and a learning management system. See you then.